How about a little dessert from Jonathan Vigliotti? At a strip mall in Anaheim, California, nestled between a dry cleaners and a car stereo shop is a bakery with a centuries old treat. Forged by hand and hammer. Booze Up is baker Maher Knuckles' confectionery tribute to his native home of Damascus, Syria, where what's often considered the world's first ice cream was first served more than 500 years ago. It's not quite like the American ice cream we all know. How would you describe it? It's completely different. When you eat the booza, you eat like a gum. If you put it in your mouth, you're gonna feel a couple of seconds in your mouth, you enjoy with it. So how does the secret with it? Knuckle first discovered the secret at this 18th century market inside the over 100-year-old Bakdash ice cream parlor where he worked as a teen. The ice cream is less licking, that more texture. chewing, a prized texture that begins with a closely guarded recipe. What are the ingredients in your booza? You want to take my secret, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the ingredient is coming from the milk. You have to be a rich milk, heavy milk, 16%. You get sugar. More important is the sahlab and the mastika. Salab, a type of sweetening powder made of ground roots, adds density. Mastica, which is a tree resin and similar to gelatin, adds that taffy-like stretch. Rose water gives flavor. But elbow grease is the most important ingredient, along with Knuckles' traditional ice-cold $12,000 booza machine, imported from Damascus. He first spreads the batter in the ice-cold barrel. Once frozen, he scrapes down every ounce. Then comes the pistachios and that pounding. This is the first time I've pounded ice cream, so. Your man. <laughs> this is, this takes some muscle. All this muscle helps activate the ingredients. That's incredible. Which rise together kind of like a dough. Can you taste the difference between booza that is handmade? Yes, because this machine make it more uh, showy, like a gum. So the stretcher it is, exactly. the more it was ma made by hand. Today, his booza is a handmade homage to a country now shattered by Syria's decade-old civil war. A lot of work for one scoop. Yet with every scoop, really? an escape back to better times. I have one customer come from Chicago. They buy like four, four rolls. What goes on in your mind as you're making booza? I feel like I'm 16 years old, you know, I, I love it. I love my job. <laughs>